Welcome, my name is Lisa, I'm from asewinglife.com and in this video I'm going to sew, I'm going to show you how to sew this tote bag. So it is um, very, very basic, so easy to make. It's lined and it's also boxed, which means that at the sides it's got shape and also at the bottom and it can sit flat. So it gives it, it's got more sort of shape and definition than a normal box, a normal tote bag. So if I just show you, it's a good size one, this. It's got a long strap. There we go. Now, I'm quite tall, so I have made this bigger because I want, and longer because I wanted it to, um, to fit me. But you can change the measurements um, that I give if you want to, just to make it a bit smaller for you. Um, the pattern is available on my website, um, sewinglife.com, if you would like to purchase the pattern and then keep it with you. Um, if not, you can just carry, a, carry on and watch the tutorial. So let's get going and start learning how to make the tote bag. Oh, and one other thing which makes this really cute is that it has its own little bag. So this bag, which is very, very simple, is just designed for the bag, the tote bag, to be folded up and put inside there so that you can take it um, inside your own bag and just sort of get it out when you need it. Okay, so the fabric requirements requirements for this um, bag are four pieces, all exactly the same size. So two outer pieces and two lining pieces. So they are all exactly the same size. Now you can do them whatever size you like. Um, the size that I've chosen is um, 53 by 53 centimeters. So it's a square, uh, which is 21 by 21 inches. And then you just need two pieces um, for the straps. And this is seven centimetres by 90 centimetres, which is two and three quarter inches by um, 35 and a half inches. So I'll put all those measurements down in the, um, in the information below anyway. Right, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the strap. So take one of the straps and we're just literally gonna fold over that edge. So this is the wrong side. I'm going to fold that edge over by about a centimetre. You can use the iron at this stage if you want to. And then all you need to do is literally fold one side over on top of the other and make sure that those edges meet. And keep going down the whole length. And then when you've got all the way down to the end, take it to the sewing machine and sew two lines of top stitching, one on that line, one on that side, and then one on that side. So Right, so both the straps are done now. Um, so we now need to place them in position on the body. So we're gonna do exactly the same process with both of them. So the first, take the first strap and take your, this is the outer fabric, uh, right side up and put them in position. Okay, make sure that this strap is not twisted when you do it and the position of them, you can choose whatever position you like, but I am going to put them sort of 16 centimeters in from that edge. Stick it there. Same on the other side, yeah. make sure the edges at the top match. And then take a piece of the lining and make sure that you've got your right sides together, lay it on top and then attach it at the top. So move that pin so that all three layers are included. And the same there. And then just pin the rest of that length. And then what you're gonna do is sew those two pieces together across the top, whoops, across the top, but when you go over the strap, I would go over and back and back again, just to make sure that it's really secure because that's where all the weight um, will go. Okay, so now the lining is attached to the body with the straps inside and you've got the two pieces. So put them right sides together, matching the seams up on both sides. Okay, so both of the pieces are pinned together all the way around. 
so you're going to sew all the way around the edges and leave about a 10 centimeter gap there in the lining and that is where that it will be turned inside out out so next we're going to do the corners right so this involves now boxing out the corners so we're going to do the same to all four of the corners what you need to do is take the corner get hold of the two edges either side and just pull it out so that both of the seams sit one on top of the other i like to just sort of use my fingers to press that out as well make sure it's nice and flat and then measure from the top from the point at the top there it's like i'm going to do six centimeters okay and then what you're going to do is just sew across there cut off each of these about a centimetre away and now I'm going to turn it inside out needs that opening now just needs to be sewn together so turn the edges under so that it's in line and then literally just top stitch across there so that's all joined together right so that's sewn now so the whole of the bag is contained <laughs> so push the lining inside and you've actually got your bag complete but i'm going to do a couple of extra stages here so first of all i'm going to sew around this top edge just to define that a little bit more to add the definition at the sides I've pulled the lining outside for a minute and then folded down at the sides and I've just literally pinned down each of those edges and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and just sew sort of about three millimeters away so that will just give it a little bit more definition so the things that you need to make sure is that this distance is the same as this distance so it actually measures from each hem six centimeters from the hem and then obviously the same at the top six centimeters six centimeters so that's one of the things to make sure that um, is in line and then I've pinned the other side as well so I'm also going to sew down that so that's given some nice definition to the um, the sides now so there's one more thing I'd like to do which is give the same definition to the bottom area so again pulling out the lining and I'm going to pin there and there and do the same thing I'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew all the way around there Right, so that bottom is done and that has just given the bag more definition. It's really nice. So what it needs now is it just needs a good iron. The next stage is to go ahead and make the bag to keep it in if you want to. Um, you just need one piece of fabric, which is 27 by 43 centimetres, which is 10 and a half inches by 17 inches. And then you'll just need a popper or something to fasten it with so if you don't want to use a popper you can use velcro or a button or a press stud right so i've created a hem on all four of the sides um it's a hem of sort of a centimeter it's double hem a centimeter ish and a centimeter ish and pinned it all the way around so what i'm going to do now is take it to the machine and sew all the way around there okay so now that the seams are sewn turn this top bit over turn that over by 15 centimeters which is six inches and then sew both of the seams together so down there and down there and then that's creating the pouch shape the pouch has been made so now it just needs to have a fastening and that's going to go in the middle here so find the middle point and then i'm going to go up 
by about two, two and a half centimeters. And I'm going to use this owl to make a hole. Okay. And that is where the popper is going to go. So you put that bit through there and then go through. I can remove this pin now. Go through onto the other side and put one part of the popper. Push them together and then take this, put them in there on either side and just press them together. Okay, and then to find out where the other section needs to go, there. All right, make it bigger. Put that through, and then the other part that will match up. So put those together, squish them a little bit, take the tool. Put it in there, press it hard so they really squish together. There we go. The popper that keeps it shut. So if you don't have one of those, you can just use a piece of Velcro. So you put your Velcro there and then the other piece there, or a press stud or something similar. So the way that you're going to fold this up is fold it so fold your sides. So everything sits flat and then I've already folded it that way so I'm going to carry on. So fold it once, twice, three times, okay. Wrap your straps around okay and then just simply fold it in half. It's nice and neat and then it's just going to go inside this bag. Oh, looks lovely doesn't it looks really nice so let me know in the comments um how you get on with this project did you enjoy it um do you find it useful uh what fabrics did you make who did you make it for i'm just really interested to find out um what you did with this project thank you so much for spending time with me in this video really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful and useful um have a look at my other projects i've got lots of other really great projects and i think that you will love them so just pick your next one decide what you're going to make next and i will see you in that video so thanks for joining me bye for now see you in the next video bye